There's uh, the saying, being a good person, there's this idea that, hmm, oh, that's controversial, isn't it? Well, okay. There's this idea that you can be a homosexual or that you can be a, um, a rapist or that you can be a, that you can be one of these evil things habitually and also be a good person at the same time. Here's the thing. In order to be a good person, you have to be a God person. And if what you're doing is in direct contradiction to God, if the life you are living is in direct contradiction to God, you are not a good person because you're not a God person. You have to be a God person to be a good person. That's why Jesus said, none good or uh, none are good except for God. Or I'm paraphrasing that, but the point being, without God, you cannot be good. So if the life you are choosing is angering God, no, you're not a good person. It doesn't matter you didn't murder somebody. It doesn't matter you didn't rape somebody. It doesn't matter that you're not, that you're waiting to have sex until marriage. The point is, regardless of whether you've sinned, are you a God person? Are you striving to get rid of that thing? Or are you living in it? If you're a God person, you're a good person, not in, not some other way.